Here's a closer look at my homemade bio pellet reactor. Hey everyone, if you're unfamiliar with what a bio pellet reactor is, read the description of the video below. I just wanted to use this time to give you a closer look at how I built mine and what it looks like. I got these parts from Home Depot except for the clear PVC and the black uniseal uh, parts here. You put PVC pipe through them and they form a tight seal so there's no water leakage which is important. These are bio pellets and they're going to feed the bacteria called anaerobic bacteria. You want to remove nitrates in your aquarium and this is the food to feed the bacteria to do it. You're going to pour them in the top only a little bit at a time, maybe a little bit each week to get your tank used to the carbon dosing process, that's what this is called. And I have a pump that's churning them that goes through the PVC, I'll show you that in a minute. These will disappear, you don't have to replace them. When they're depleted they just go away and you just pour more in the top. They'll clump together, but five minutes later you can see they're breaking up nicely. The water is going to rise and it's exported through this black tubing back into the sump where the water is churned through this protein skimmer here with the nastiness in it and it exports the nitrates that way the bad water if you will the better water is coming in from a pump in the sump down the white tubing which is connected to the clear tubing which is connected to this down through this purple which is churning them they need to be churned always this is going to feed the bacteria it's a constant cycle here are some bio pellet reactors you can buy, but they're too expensive. Mine works great and it takes about a month for this process to kick in before you see a lowering of nitrates. You guys, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, I'll see you next Saturday. <laughs>